Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and another part of the Journeyman with Leeds United. Today we've got the final part of Season 11. Uh, we're rounding up the season, talking about how we got on in the last few matches. But then we have the big one, the FA Cup final against Chelsea. Looking to do the domestic double this season with our with the, the two cup competitions that would be absolutely awesome um yeah leave a like if you have been enjoying it's been a really tough season it's not gone to plan but it would be nice to to finish off with another trophy that would be absolutely awesome uh since you were last with me the reason i didn't come back for the the bournemouth game is there was there was nothing to play for um we threw it away with the two first two matches we drew 2-2 with aston villa and then 2-2 with chelsea um injury time goals in both matches grabbing us a point uh we then beat west brom 2-1 that wall bank scoring in that one we beat everton 2-0 uh who are the europa league winners by the way and will be in the champions league next season alvaro and casadai scoring in that one we then lost 3-1 to Brentford away from home and it was probably the biggest mugging you've ever seen in Football Manager. We dominated the game a much higher XG and got beat 3-1. Oh, sick now that one. I think that's definitely three points we, we lost. Uh, Leicester, we beat them 2-0. Johnny Piasteros and Arthur Teata scoring there. Uh, most recently we beat Bournemouth on the last day of the season 5-1 through a Johnny Ballesteros hat-trick, uh, Manu Kone and Michael Robinson also scoring there. That meant that we finished the Premier League season in uh, 10th place, you know, top half in the end, which I suppose is, is not too bad. We finish ahead of big hitters Arsenal and Chelsea, Crystal Palace, who were in the Champions League a couple of years ago, Everton, who have won the Europa League, will be in the Champions League next year. Uh, and of course, former Premier League winners, Leicester City. So, you know, some big hitters down in that bottom half. There was a lot of smaller teams that had great seasons. West Ham United just missed out on the top four, but uh, should qualify for the Champions League in fifth there. Newcastle in sixth, Southampton there in seventh, uh, Aston Villa eighth, and Brentford in ninth. So... You know, I think a little bit unlucky in the end. If we did hit a Project 65, which uh, I talked about in the last episode, then we would have finished fifth, uh, which is which is gooding. Um, had we beaten Chelsea, beaten Aston Villa, that would have been an extra um, four points and then um, another um, three points against Brentford. That would have took us above West Ham into fifth and that would have been Champions League football for next season and we would have definitely got away with it but uh 10th it is and and that's where we have to accept and and move into next season and it'll either be the conference league or the europa league depending on the result today uh so squad performances top goal scorer uh, of the season 30 goals for johnny Ballesteros, 22 for peter murray 12 for nat warbank in the end top assist is 18 for Jorge, 12 for Dedia and 12 for Navarro. Top average rating is Johnny Ballesteros with a 7.25, Arthur Tiara a 7.20 as well for the 32-year-old. Right, uh, let's get into the match today against Chelsea. FA Cup final time, and uh, everybody's feeling fresh, feeling ready, and uh, we're pretty much at full strength. So we've got Gyro starting in goal with a Bradley, Upper Meccano, uh, Tiara and Mizogen in defence. We've then got Mangiavacci and Kasadai in the defensive midfield positions with Dedia and Jorge starting wide of Peter Murray and Johnny Ballesteros up top. So let's get into it. This should be an absolute cracker. And uh, hopefully we can get... Our hands on the trophy. Here we go. If you carry on from your last match, that will be very, very good. And let's see if we can do it. It's been a memorable journey. All of that good stuff. And here we are, ready for the FA Cup final. We could potentially end up at Chelsea next season. Um, the Chelsea job is insecure. I think it will hang on this match, the result of this match, as to, to whether... Um, I think, is it uh, Abel Ferreira? I think that's who's in, in charge of Chelsea. Might be wrong. But, uh, yeah, I think that's how his future is, is hinged. 
And uh, hopefully, you know, with our gig and press coming back into some decent form towards the end of the season, hopefully we can go out there and, and perform at our best and grab a few goals. Here's Ballesteros, gets it to Jorge now. Jorge forward to Peter Murray, who's just come back from injury. I do think he was offside there, though. It's certainly going to be very, very tight. But I think it is going to be offside, which is such a shame. Yeah, because that, that was a terrific finish for Peter uh, on his return from injury. And how close was this? Yeah, about a yard offside. And that's just match sharpness for you. And, well, what a season he's had. Probably his best season so far. Uh, Ballesteros has, has been a wonderful player as well. I mean, we've had so many players over a seven average rating. And speaking of which, Johnny Ballesteros, 31st goal of the season. I don't think you'll ever have a team that have underperformed so much but had so many great individual performances. I think there is something special in this team, but... Uh, we we just got to uh, try and hone it in next season, make sure we build on, on some of the results we've had this year. But at 1-0 so far, we are ahead in this FA Cup final. Oh, here's Jankovic with a great ball through. Here's Lee Kang in, and I think that was offside. I think that was fairly far offside, actually. Much further than the Peter Murray one, I would imagine. But uh, maybe one of the... Yeah... Uh, just well offside. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, I mean, you can see our defensive line here. You can see how far forward he is. It, it's unbelievable that had to go to VAR, to be honest. But uh, I want to know what else I can put on this bit. Visualizations. And yeah, just can't seem to do anything with that other than extra match stats. And I'd rather not have that. Here's up a Meccano. Gets it to Bradley now. Bradley. Up a Meccano to Casadai. Casadai on the ball. Forward to Jorge. That's a heavy touch. Can he win it back? No, he can't. Here's Lee Kang in now. Oof, good shot. And it was deflected. And yeah, a brave save there from Gyro. You know, I wouldn't have been handling the ball, I don't think. That was a heavy touch from one of our players. I don't know how kindly a real life referee would have looked on that. But uh, it is what it is. Jorge. Now here's Cristiano, our former player, of course. And that was a pretty terrible shot. But yeah, what what could we put on this little bit here? I'm we'll, going to put the visualizer on there. Would that, is that... Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> here's Mizogen, gets it to Upper Meccano, to Mangiavacci. Here's Dedia. Ooh, it looked like a, a good ball through to... Our good pal Johnny Ballesteros, but... Didn't happen. Here's Hoyland. Gets it forward towards Luca and Chelsea definitely on top. And it's a big deflection. And Luca Romero makes it one all in this FA Cup final. We're going to go attacking now. We're going to try and push on and get back on top in this match because we did start it off very, very well. Yeah, I don't think Visualize is a great one to have. Here's Cutbush. Throws it. Bradley loses it. Now here's Kutbush again, Jankovic to Cristiano, oh what a goal, second goal of the season and it just had to be didn't it, one of our former players haunting us and I don't want to watch that again, oh, I feel like we're being mugged, the stats don't really suggest it but I feel like we were playing well. Yeah, I think we have to say I want a much better performance in the second half. Might even have to make some changes here. What could we do? Who's not playing well? Peter Murray is going to come off. We're going to put Nat Wallbank on for him. Dedia, I suppose, stays on. Cassidy for Kone. Um, yeah, leave it at that for now. See how we get on in the second half. Two changes should hopefully change it up a little bit. Shame for Peter Murray because he was going to get a goal on his return. But yeah, offside call. Up at Meccano gets it to Tiana. Mizogen now. Mizogen forward to Corny. 
Corner now, bombing forward to Ballesteros. Here's Nat Wallbank with a great chance, and there he goes. He puts it into the back of the net, and again, the referee is checking with VAR. This one seemed all right to me, but let's have a look on VAR. Oh, and it was disallowed. He was offside. This must have been close. Let's have a look at this. Oh, my God, that was so close. I think that's actually a little bit controversial. Oh. And that could be the moment. I mean, we've had two disallowed goals in this final. To be fair, Chelsea have had a, a disallowed goal as well. Mm. All right, Dethi is going to move to the right, uh, to the left. Actually, Navarro is going to go there. And we're going to put Daniel Weber on because he's been playing brilliantly in the last few matches. And we've got 20 minutes left now. To get back into this FA Cup final. I don't think it's going to happen. Five minutes. Oh, it's going to be the worst possible ending. Oh. I feel like we didn't deserve that. <sighs> the FA Cup eludes us. Chelsea have won it. And uh, they're going to get that Europa League spot that we wanted. So it's Conference League football for us next season. That's not exactly the most attractive prospect of staying at Leeds for another year. You know, we've had two seasons of Champions League football. We had two years where we were all, all right up at the top end of the table. And now... You know, down in 10th, Conference League football again next year. Have we taken Leeds as far as we can? That That's the big question. I suppose big question is going to be budgets. What budgets are we going to get next season? It was a good performance. You know, I think XG-wise we were the better team, but um, it is what it is. We lose the FA Cup final. And that kind of sums up our season, doesn't it? Right, there you go then. Chelsea lift the FA Cup trophy. We're going to receive a one million for our run to the FA Cup final. Um, yeah, let's have a little look then. So I think Chelsea are going to save him. Hang on. Um, yeah, we're doing untouchable. Right. Well, Chelsea. I mean, Everton. The Everton job will possibly become available, even though. They won the Europa League. They're going to be in the Champions League next season, but financially not a, 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 a club that I'm that interested in. Um, you know, feels like a bit of a sideways step. Chelsea, on the other hand, could very well be somebody we look at and and think we could join them. I wonder, is it still... Yeah, it is still Todd Bowley, who is the... Um, yeah, Abel Ferreira, it is uh, Abel Ferreira, uh, who is the owner there. I mean, the other possibility, which might not happen, but Man City, Pep Guardiola, he's only on a contract till the end of the season. That could be something that comes up. So let's uh, continue on. Um, I don't think we're going to do a transfer spec. It it kind of depends on uh, what our initial budgets are. I mean, that's not a lot of money. That is not a lot of money. We got a little bit in the wage budget, but yeah, I th I don't think we're going to do a transfer special this summer. Um, I know that might be disappointing to some people, but. For the amount of time it actually takes to sit down and record it, uh, I'm 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 not going to bother because we haven't got much budget. The plan basically will be to keep hold of our best players. Um, we have got a few expiring contracts. It might be worth renewing, especially Manu Kone. I think he deserves at least another year. He's had a good season. Um, James Crouch and, and Andrew Lyons. It would be nice to. I keep them about because they're homegrown and can do a job if 
required. And then, you know, in terms of squad depth, things strikers were, were all right with. Perhaps replace Alvaro. He's on a lot of money and is worth a lot of money for what he's producing out of the four strikers. Um, yeah, other than that, I, th- I think we're in a really good place with, with most of the squad. It, it is just going to be about trying to to keep that going, keep the, the core of the squad together and, and try and push on next season. But uh, maybe moving on is going to be for the best for us. So, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to draw a line in the sand with this disappointing season. We'll be back tomorrow uh, with the start of season 12. Um, If something interesting happens in terms of a job, that sort of thing, then we'll maybe think about that uh, tomorrow. You know, but I'm not going to actively do a transfer special but if if something does happen over the summer then we will do a special episode for that so if you have enjoyed this episode give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more football manager videos and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye